Jo. Oh. God damn alarm. Shut up. Just give me five minutes. Ugh. Jeez. Whoa. Hey guys, I'm Jinx and welcome back. Life is strange. With cool intro music. Episode 2. Alright. The next day, right? Not them. Life is Strange, Episode 2, Out of Time. Max, I think it's time to wake up. Or, you know, enjoy the music. And pray to God that we don't get copyrighted. <laughs> Oh man! Ah. Ah, that is nice. But if I lay in bed even a second longer, I'm gonna fall asleep again. And we have class to get to. I'm so wrecked after staying up all night. I could oh. use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. I think that might be smart. Alright, I think it's time. Jesus, the soundtrack! Oh, I love this game so much. Let's get up. Oh, man. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. You just woke this is up. what happens when you research quantum physics all night. <laughs> uh, hold on. Chloe texted us. Oh, suddenly it's gone. Hold on. Before we read this, don't read it. There's there was texting before it. Don't read it. Forty. All right. Don't don't read these texts. We need to read what happened before that. Don't read them. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. You there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smartass. And I need your help. Like, like when you told Step Dork it was your weed. But for reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at Two Whales? My treat. Sold... It's good to have minions. Jesus. Got a bail master breakfast is a go. Jesus Christ. Alright. And this is now. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji! And sad face emoji. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. And do not be late. Or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. On my way. You are evil 40 minutes or else. Alright. It's it's nice. <laughs> it's 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 nice to have them text like that. And we have a new text from mom, apparently. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plants we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. Yeah, that is excellent advice. That is excellent advice, which is precisely where I'm not gonna water the plants. It is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Right? Like no time has passed. Okay, it it is loud though. There we go. Man, no, we are not gonna water the plant. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Well, let's hope anyway. Named your plant Lisa. That is, that's a good name actually. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. <laughs> Alright. Why not? No smiling. Take your power seriously. Well, that's a smile. That's a smile. You smiled. 
You didn't... You didn't not smile, you smiled. Take a look at the picture. Do it. This picture will capture this crazy Devin. historic moment in my life. And suddenly the smile is gone, it looks like. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Okay, there's a lot to read here. Okay. What if I'm one of Hawking's fabled time tourists? Even though he once made fun of time travel, now he believes it's it's possibility. Or he's still fucking with us. He's a genius imp. Time is like a river, Einstein. Bullshit. I'm drowning in time. My head hurts. After longer rewind and thinking about this now. Take a giant step backward for mankind. Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hello, time kitty! <laughs> Quantum entanglement. Energy disperses as particles reach equal distribution. Th this means that time has a fragile foundation. Nothing is written in stone. The law of thermodynamics can obviously be broken, so no rules, only guidelines. Like the pirate's code. Burn your clock. Time is like an arrow, Newton. Or is time like two arrows at the same velocity hitting, hitting two targets independent of each other leading in two different results? What the hell am I writing? Rewind only limited by time itself? Right now I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Irony or evolution? Maybe I have to do time exercises? Now? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, valid theories. I could thoughts. rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Well, I mean, it, it wouldn't help to study up on time travel or time theory, you know? Learn how smart people think it works and then maybe you'll see that they're right or they're wrong. Keep calm and carry on. As, as as played out as the keep calm and blah 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 is nowadays, that's actually good advice. If you can follow it, that is. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. All right. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Wait. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Yeah, we've, we've seen this. Before? Oh, drawer. Open. Sure. I don't know if we could do that before. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game, instead of drama games. Mystic enchantment cards. 159 cards. Cool. Some peeps together, huh? Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Mm -hmm. It's your opinion. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry, Mom. I can make my bed whenever I want. Booyah. <laughs> but let's make it. Even though in reality I am much, much too lazy to ever make my bed, now I only have to press a button, so. <laughs> I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Aww. And our pictures. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Yeah, sure. I mean, hey, man. This is actually a pretty unique thing to have. I don't know how many people have an entire wall full of their pictures, at least in their dorm room. Actually, it might not be that. You know, I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter, man. If, if you like looking at it, it's cool. Plus, I'm sure there are a lot of good pictures there. Oh, that's cool. It lets us use the phone like that. Nice. Uh, journal, sure. I assume it's just gonna open up the journal. Yeah, holy shit. All right, there are a couple more pages. Uh, last time we left off at 18, I think. Well, I think we didn't have page 18 full yet. Do I want to read this now? Uh, no. Why don't we read it at the end of this episode, all right? So at the end of this episode, we can, um... Yeah, we, we can do a bit of journal reading. Sure. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. 
Whoa. Alright, Mondays is history, algebra, first lunch, math, <clears throat> and language of photography. Tuesday is photography, science, and media literacy. Wednesday is world history, algebra, photography, and life drawing. Interesting. Thursday, because English is out, I'm going to skip it. Um, the art of science, media, and... Photography and Friday is f is P, uh, music and cultural anthropology. All right, interesting. It's 2013 to 2014. Is did this game originally the original version? Did it come out 2013 or 14? Because if it did, then holy mother fucking shit! I was a tiny little boy. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to Jeez. safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. I mean... It's... Even if they didn't make you do it, I still recognize... Uh, rec not recognize, what the fuck? I'd still recommend that you safeguard your toiletries because, you, you know, you don't want to be bald. Involuntarily. Trust me. I'm... You know... I have some experiences with involuntary baldness. It's not nice. I'm not saying I was shaved. I'm saying I'm bald. Okay, Way Max, too early. Let's hit the showers now. Okay, so we have our stuff, but we're not gonna hit the showers just yet. I'm uh, gonna go. Th <coughs> I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. See, last time that watch wasn't here. Look at it. A, a fucking frog watch. It's cute. We wouldn't have seen it if I didn't look around. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? <laughs> why not a... Why not a cashmere jacket so you could have a partner look with Victoria? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Don't know. Never met the guy. Probably dead. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I assume they're, these are all time travel DVDs? Uh... <coughs> I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Pendant. Go Thunderbirds, sure. Why not? I assume you're know, the Seattle team. Alright. Well. Let's play a bit of guitar. A bit. And then we'll get going, I promise. I promise. I promise. There we go. Um, just real quick, because I just want to say something, and this is a you know good good place to do it with a nice nice bit of music in the background. <clears throat> Stop me if you've heard this before, but I fucking love this game. I just do. All right, I just do. I've I I took like a five minute break in between this episode and the next and the last one, recording the parts. I mean. <coughs> And I, I just I just thought about it like I fucking love this game, all right. It I don't know when it came out. It came out. I I didn't want to say it came out years ago because somehow that sounded wrong. But it's factually correct, right? It came out years ago, like because I was much younger. And I just fucking love this game because. Um, listen, I I can guarantee I can absolutely without a doubt guarantee you. That I will cry at least one, uh, probably at least twice <laughs> during this uh, playthrough. That'll happen. Because, do you remember how I reacted when I saw the hole uh, to another universe? Like, it's, it's small shit, small shit like that, it made me tear up. I didn't say it, obviously, maybe you didn't hear it. It made me tear up a little bit, it, go it went away immediately. After we stopped talking about it and focused on the game, but like, if ti tiny details like that, there's shit like that that I forgot about, you know, over time, and th that I'm now seeing again, and 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 if stuff like that can make me fucking tear up, then I I don't know what how I'm gonna react if something bigger happens, but. And we're only at the beginning of episode two. You know, there's shit coming to, uh, you know, yet to come. Man, um, 
like for example the wrong way sign on Chloe's door I, d I didn't talk about it much but I fuck I, I had that after experiencing this game for the first time I watched a YouTube let's play of it right uh, from my favorite let's player and after experiencing it the first time when I saw that wrong way thing I I made the same fucking sign and I taped it onto my door onto the door of my room I I, I did it on paper I paint I, I fucking I drew it you know with like red colors uh, with a red color I, I made the like sign itself and then I, I wrote on it wrong way in white and I, and I taped that onto my door and it stayed on that door for so long so at some point recently we like we didn't move but I, I went into another room in the flat me and my sister we switched rooms for one reason or another and uh, so that that sign is gone now and I think we threw it away but I it, it's it's shit like that that I just when I see them you know I remember I, I guess they remind me fucking of you know a younger me and all that and they remind me of this game and I, I don't know man I, I just listen the best way I can explain it is I fucking love this game all right and you're gonna hear me say that shit a lot and I didn't mean to pad out the runtime of, the, of this video by uh, doing that let's go take a shower do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. Hey, our thing is still here. I'm so on it. Consider it done. Hear that music? Why would I knock? Alright, let's knock. Fine, I won't disturb you. Yeah, she doesn't care. Um, whoa. She, alright, I don't care. Rachel looks like she's staring at me. Oh. But was this poster really trying to tell me? Okay, yeah, we, we've looked at this stuff before. Hello, Brooke? No Brooke here. Alright. Well, I mean, we don't really have anything to talk about anyway. I'm just... We're bang for seriously again. The marks of Satan. Come on, man. Let's fucking write something nice. Or at the very least, you know, erase the bad shit. You in there? Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. All right. Yeah, fair enough. Hello, Alyssa. If I help Alyssa. I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Love you. That, hey, that's a reused asset. Love you, mom. XOXO. That was in class. Hold on. <laughs> that is the exact same thing that was on the microwave in Chloe's home. I see you, game. I see what you did there. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. All right. Don't worry about it, it's fine. And there are people laughing in the bathroom. One right. quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh, they Oh, okay. Sure. I didn't I didn't even that was the owl that we heard. In that In that case we're gonna need to erase that again, I think. There we go. That's Warner! Quick! No! God damn it! Oh, okay, fine. We're gonna need to erase that again. That's fine, though. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. <laughs> wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Hmm. Yeah. No problem at all. And now we can actually talk to you, right? The section of consequences. Yeah, but probably good ones. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you <laughs> my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. 
I'm glad to help you out. Are you sure Blackwell about that? has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Oh, the fucking vampire one. Oh, God damn it. Well, out of all of these, Back to the Future. I fucking... Uh, it's been a while since I've watched those movies, but there was a time when I fucking... I binged them. You know, all three. And then when I, when I was finished with the third one, I started the first one again. So, yeah, Back to the Future. I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's go erase this again real quick. There we go. And let's also knock, even though we know there won't be a response. Kate just is an early bird. To have done she it. might be up and gone. There's laughing in there. Dude, your attack failed. Alright, whatever. Um, Juliet's room. Juliet. Read this week's edition of the Blackwell told him, right? Well, I mean, isn't she she's standing right there? Why would we knock? <laughs> Juliet and Brooke. What's up? Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. I mean, she might just be smarter than everybody. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Oh, come on. Yeah. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Come on, man. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? What do you mean, are you sure? Um, <coughs> what about Victoria, I guess? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. <laughs> Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. Thank you. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Alright, hello, Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Uh, alright, we're still recording. Okay. Uh, you look distracted. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. <laughs> Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. I'm I'm sorry. I know you're a... Uh... Get a life and move on, bitch. Well, that's not nice. Uh, Stella? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Stomp him, Bigfoots. Sure. Uh, I wonder if we can knock on, or if there will be an answer in Taylor's room. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Oh, right. She went to get something, I think, right? You're having fun? Hello, Dana. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. <laughs> Yo. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Sure. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. Uh, By the way, the well, best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Uh... Probably not. 
Unless Warren asks me, or there is a reason to go with Chloe or something. I'm gonna say no. I hope that's okay. No, sorry. It's just not my thing. You came to Blackwell to discover yourself, not hide in your dorm. I won't what? discover myself avoiding projectile vomit from bro dudes. Thanks anyway. <laughs> I, I really love bro dudes <laughs> as a word. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hmm. I mean, yeah, well, of course she's going to be taking those pills. It's fine. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. <laughs> oh, shit. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Yeah, you think? I don't know if it's that dramatic, but... Yeah. Dana right. takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Yeah, well, I mean, she seems like she, she'd she make a good cheerleader, right? At least she, like you said, she has the spirit. Curiosity killed the Max. Okay, yeah, you know what? I learned my lesson. We're not gonna... We ignored the laptop. I'm sure we can look at the paper ball. This is both sad and oh. pathetic. Right, it's 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 this again. Well, I mean, we didn't need to... Alright, I guess that didn't count as an action. We didn't need to look at that. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's go... Here, because... We already looked at that, I believe. And the showers are open again. Great, because yesterday there was a wet floor and we couldn't enter. For some reason. But actually... Like I said, we're gonna do some reading now. Oh, that's the wrong button. So, as as usual, I guess, this is gonna be the end of the gameplay for this episode. If you're leaving, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I'll see you all next time. We are going to uh, read the journal to page 22. Not too long, but you know, we're gonna do it. And yeah. Alright. Um, we sat like strangers. We read that paragraph. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. St some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self. Cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill, so I explored her room to play catch up on what she was into these days. Name another one. Then I found a fo photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She'd become best friends with Rachel and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she most needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. Polk off? That's utterly outrageous. Jesus Christ. I am 18. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why she got... Why she's got serious attitude. <coughs> when I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and, and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that I had saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy. 
she was so happy like when we were kids and it was great to see her face light up again. She even gave me her dad's awesome old instamatic <laughs> instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty. Just a bit. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up. And it was David Matson. And look, there's the there's the picture. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a nice picture, you know. I had to hide in the closet, and then David came in angry about the music. He was even scarier off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David found Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. I couldn't take it. Considering she almost died that morning, and I stepped out. Oh. I couldn't take it considering she almost died that morning, and I stepped out and said it was my weed. David tried to threaten me, but Chloe was awesome and threatened him. He backed out of there quick. Chloe was so touched. I Chloe was so touched I took the blame. Sorry, I was trying to figure out the asterisk your trash, maybe that's supposed to mean? I don't know. Of course, she did steal one of David's guns and waved it around like an idiot. Too much firepower for this girl to encounter in one day. Or one life. Fortunately, Chloe and I decided to get out of there and catch up on our exploring. Like best friends. So Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse, watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It all made sense, but I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare, or duskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in the storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path, and again, I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move toward the town. Three meters above the sky. Hmm. Then Chloe snapped me out of the dream and I told her what I saw. As if to make the day end on another unusual note, so snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous and beautiful all at once, especially standing there with my best friend. On that positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. <laughs> Alright. Objective, I should take a shower. Oh, are the objectives on page one? I know you can see what you're supposed to do. <coughs> I guess they're always going to be on page one. Good to know. Alright, and we've seen all of this. A whole new slew of pictures to take. Fire walk with me. That's probably Chloe holding the gun in the air. And that looks like two whales. That's a bagel or a donut. Alright. Well, there, there's going to be pictures that need taken, and a lot of locations we haven't been to yet. Oh, is this... Are you serious? This is everything we've... No, it's not everything we've looked at. Interesting, it's only some of the things, but... Oh, it depends on... Oh, it's everything we've looked at in a specific location. Oh, that's cool, so you can just... So you can, you know... Uh, check that stuff out again. Alright. Anyway. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Jesus Christ, hold on. Alright, that's okay, lighting. <laughs> that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I'll see you all next time. I'm sorry if I seem a little bit somewhat over-energetic or excited. Like I said, I love this game. Auf Wiedersehen.